Adrian Barner decided to apologize to the fans, even though I don't think he. Why should he apologize? He lost the fight, you know. But he wanted to apologize to go ahead and for his actions after the fight, for leaving the ring. Now these are his exact words. This is the face of a three-time world champion in three different weight divisions. I am a man, and first of all, I want to say I'm sorry for running out on all my fans after my fight. That was wrong of me as a fighter. I want to congratulate Team Chino, and I want to thank everybody that supported the fight. But I'm not done. This is a minor setback for a major comeback. Hashtag rematch time. Hashtag true fight. So, that was a statement he wanted to put out to the public after a couple of dates. But my God, man, I think everybody's going a little too far with the hate towards Adrian Braun. I mean, I've... I've gotten so many emails that's just, you know, I just delete them. It's just crazy. I mean, crazy type of hate. Like, my God, what did he do? Did he rob a bank? Did he murder, murder somebody? Like, to hate somebody that much is a reflection of what you got inside. Oh, that's too much hate. Wanting a guy to lose is one thing because you rooting for the other guy. But other people, they didn't even... They didn't even want Madonna. Like, they picked Bruno to win. And now they the biggest Madonna fans in the world. It's like, I picked Adrian Bronner, but I knew Madonna's going to kill him. It's like, um, okay. Now he's a bum, and he's exposed. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just like, they don't give Madonna any of the credit. I swear to God, Madonna has gotten the least amount of credit out of this than anybody. I've seen every Joe Blow Smoke come out of the woodwork, retired fighters. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, too. And the people ain't even, that's supposed to be with you ain't with you. I mean, I've never seen that happen more than after he lost. It was, like, good for him. You know, it's like, yeah, he need that loss. <laughs> I mean, people was going crazy. It's just weird. I'm like, why retired fighters are on Twitter now talking about Adrian Broner? They're not even fighting no more. And they hating on Adrian Broner on what he needs to be doing. Retired fighters. You, you have no stake in this. But you just had to come out and hate on Broner. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? It's like, but they only do this with certain fighters. And it seemed to always be black fighters. Mexican fighters could lose all damn damn day long. Madonna got how many losses? Five, six? We can't even count all the losses he got. <laughs> but that's okay. Madonna could lose. He ain't finna get beer thrown on his back. They ain't gonna spit on him. That's cool. Madonna could lose five, six, seven times. Eric Morales can lose all them times. He ain't overrated. <laughs> Madonna ain't overrated. None of these guys are overrated. But Madonna, I mean, what's his name? Lucas Matisse lost. No questions about that. And people still hold him in high regards. I don't remember all this. So for y'all to say Adrian Broner is nothing and all of this, he's getting about as much publicity for a loss than Manny Pacquiao got. I mean, him and Pacquiao are going head up when it comes to that loss category. He was in trending topics for three straight days after his loss. Now, this is a guy y'all said was nothing. He was nobody. So, if he was a nobody, then why would he be getting all this attention? He must have been doing something right. So, I just think it's confused admiration <laughs> people have with Adrian Broner. They hate him, but they admire him <laughs> so much. Even the Mayweather, Mayweathers don't like anybody. The trainers, the pops, the dads, they feel like that with anybody. They just, they the only great trainers in the world. That's that's just how they are. It's their mentality. So with Adrian Broner come around, it's like he got his A whoop, but if Adrian Broner said, I need you to train me, they both sign him right up. <laughs> so there must be something there. <laughs> To make them get interested. You know, that's all I, that's how I see it. Y'all tell me what's going on.
Cause I seem like this this is gonna be a video day for me. I mean, complete videos all day. I got emails combined with all of this stuff with because of this interview with Mayweather. People asking me questions. It's just intense. So I think I'm gonna be doing that the majority of the day today. No breaks. I gotta return this move.